In this question, we'll be using images and data from the constellation table to classify some of the galaxies into the major types. In a question like this, there's often room for interpretation, so it's very important that you make clear what evidence you're using to support your classifications. We'll be looking at pictures of the galaxies to help you make the classifications. All of the galaxy pictures are loaded online. You should check with your instructor to find out exactly how to find them. Galaxy colors usually depend on the population of stars and sometimes dust within the galaxy. A blue galaxy generally means a galaxy with a lot of hot young stars, and hence active star formation, since blue stars typically have short lives. On the other hand, a red galaxy usually means the galaxy's light is dominated by older, redder stars. This means there isn't much active star formation. To determine which galaxy is reddest or bluest, don't try to use the colors of the pictures of your galaxies. These images come from a wide range of sources. Some are in color and some aren't, and even the ones that are in color may be balancing those colors in different ways or using special filters to highlight one type of feature or another. Since different images are produced different ways, you can be misled by the colors in the pictures. Instead, we use the color column in the constellation table. This is a B-K color, which means that the galaxy's magnitude in the B part of the spectrum is measured as well as the K part of the spectrum, and then those two values are subtracted. B is roughly the blue part of the spectrum, while K is in the near-infrared longer wavelengths than red. Let's think about what this means. A large B-K color means that the B magnitude is a much bigger number than the K magnitude. But remember that magnitudes run backwards. A big number means a faint object. So if the B magnitude is large compared to K, that means the star isn't very bright in blue light compared to redder colors. The result is that a large B-K color means a red galaxy, while a smaller value is a blue galaxy. So you should pick the galaxies that have the largest and smallest B-K colors to be the reddest and bluest galaxies in your constellation. Make sure you describe how you can tell this in your answer. Now we're ready to pick a few of your galaxies and determine their types. You're welcome to pick any three galaxies in your constellation to classify. I recommend picking the three that have the clearest pictures to make your job easier. There are two pieces of information you'll use to find the galaxy type, the shape of the galaxy and the color. Remember that you should focus on the color from the table, not the picture, since the picture colors can be misleading. The major types of galaxies are spirals, barred spirals, ellipticals, lenticulars, and irregulars. We'll look at how shape and color can help you decide which of these is most likely. Let's start with shape. Sometimes the shape will make it obvious. If you're seeing clear spiral arms, then the galaxy is certainly a spiral galaxy. If the central bulge looks elongated in one direction, then it's a barred spiral. If the galaxy is very long and thin, then you've probably got an edge-on spiral or a lenticular galaxy. Ellipticals can be somewhat elongated, but if the ratio of the longest to shortest side is much more than about two, then it's probably not elliptical. You probably won't see any spiral arms if the galaxy is edge-on, so the best way to distinguish between spirals and lenticulars is color. Lenticulars are usually somewhat redder than spirals since lenticulars don't have any active star formation going on in them. If you've got a color image, another thing you can look for is pink or red smudges from H2 regions. These happen in star forming regions, so you expect to see them in spiral and irregular galaxies. Ellipticals are fairly red in the color column on your table. They look either circular or oval shaped. It can be difficult to distinguish between ellipticals and lenticulars, though lenticulars often have a lot more dark dust in their disk. Also, if you can see a clearly defined bulge, then it's probably lenticular. But if you're not sure, it's probably better to go with ellipticals, simply because there are a lot more of them than lenticulars. 
If a galaxy looks asymmetric or distorted in some other way, then it's probably irregular. Irregular galaxies also have quite blue colors, except that some starburst galaxies have so much dust in them that this reddens them significantly. Dwarf irregulars can be very low density. It's often easy to see right through the middle parts of these galaxies. Sometimes identifying the type of galaxy isn't easy. The most important thing here is to use whatever clues you have and make sure you clearly state what evidence you're using to support your identification. If you make good arguments based on the information in the picture and the table, then you'll get credit for your answer.